All right, boys and girls, this is a tutorial on how to set up your, for me, a tricopter, a quadcopter, I think it'd be very similar. Um, this is going to cover um, gains on your uh, gyro. It's going to cover setting up your self-level, and uh, I'll probably think of some other things. But um, first thing is you want to do is after you fire up your radio, fire the sucker up, you want to scroll down to uh let's go to the pi editor first factory settings on this the p gain was 150 i'm running it at 35 leave your p limits alone um, from the factory setting which is 120 my i gain which what i understand and i may be wrong is kind of like your heading hold um, which means when you let off the stick the, even off of self level that the quad would come back to, or the tri or quad would come back to kind of level on its own I found 25 on the eye game was uh, optimal for me, and that's for aileron and elevator. On the rudder, I ended up with 45 on the P gain. Again, I left 100 alone on the P limits. I gain, I was, I'm, I'm at 20 and 20 because it's, it's just working. So that's kind of how I set up the uh, the gains. Second thing is receiver test. Okay, receiver test. You're going to go to this, and you're going to see, mine says aileron 5, elevator 4, rudder 4. You don't want to use your trim tabs. You want to make sure all your trim tabs are, are completely centered on your radio. So once they're centered on this radio, you go to uh, servo setup, travel, click that, sub trims, click that, throttle. All right, you go to aileron, click that, and you're going to move that until your aileron says zero, which absolutely nothing's happening because I don't have pressed right. Aileron. All right, so you got the aileron set and it says six, seven, wrong way, and zero, good solid zero. So you're gonna go to your elevator. And that's at four. Five, four, two, one, zero. Great. And then you're going to go to your rudder somewhere. And you're going to set that until the wrong way. So we're going to go to zero. All right. Believe it or not, this will make it fly right off the ground. Unless you're way out of balance, it'll fly just, just about perfect as far as the trims go. All right. And I just screwed that up. Back to zero. All right, next thing is your self-leveling. This was a, a fun chore. I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to put the self-level. Let me self-level it first. I want to self-level it wrong, even though I had it perfect. All right, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to fly it real quick. I've got everything trimmed out. Um, I did. I do not have the self-leveling set up correctly. I just. I had it perfect, but I thought for this uh, test, we'd show you how to do it. Oh, and by the way, for anyone who says that you shouldn't put um, ads on your videos. Um, to get this thing trimmed out perfectly, it cost me a servo and all these props um, busted to get it to where I could finally get it. Either way, back to a flight test. Enough ranting and raving. This uh, is my messy garage. I do apologize. Not really. So, I'm going to throw it out here. And all right, my self leveling is off right now. Notice I haven't touched the stitch yet. It's oh, I did just then, but either way, it's uh, all right. So I'm gonna kick on self leveling from this level right now. I'm going forward and left. I'm not touching the sticks, not touching the sticks. All right, so obviously, when I let go of the sticks and self level right now, it's going forward and left. All right, to fix that, I'll show you what we do. Don't do this, by the way. It's a bad idea. All right, so obviously this bench is crooked. Or my board may be on here slightly off. Either way, it was going left and forward. So I've already got the blocks made up that I know will work. But you're basically going to take anything you can. We'll have thicknesses, different thicknesses or whatever. And I know this is what I need for my left. I think, of course, and believe it or not, I got three different things. I got core plastic, cardboard, and a little thin piece of uh, plywood here. And that is what 
I need for my front. And on this particular thing, I have to put it under the front right skid, and then the back left. And actually, in this particular case, this part is actually floating in the air. It's not. It's not actually touching anything. So you got your back corner and your front that's touching. So we're going to go to sensor calibration again. Let it do its thing. And it took about 10 times for me to get this right the first time, and I'm hoping it'll be right this time. We'll just have to see. Continue, continue, back to safe. All right, let's go try it again. All right, my self-leveling is on. So we'll just see. Damn, armed, on. All right, haven't touched a stick. It's coming at me, it's coming at me. Not too bad though. Let's see if I like I'm let it go again. Alright. I'm not touching the stick, not touching the stick, not touching the stick. Alright, so it went a little left, we'll try it again. Hands off the stick. Hands off the stick. Haven't touched the stick yet, so I haven't touched the stick. So that's pretty good. It's gonna drift around a little bit. Just uh FYI oh, FYI. Uh, auto level is on. If you give it some forward, let it stick off, it's gonna go forward. Then it's going to come back. Then it's going to go forward a little bit. But in general, it's staying put. If I had a big enough field, I could tilt the heck out of it and it wouldn't have a problem. I haven't touched a stick yet. I'm just kind of following it. Okay, I touched the throttle. But I haven't touched a stick yet since I started doing this thing, except for the throttle. Still haven't touched the throttle thing. So you get the idea. It's pretty stable. Um, now there's a P limit on the uh, setup. I'm going to set you on the... Uh... Okay, um, this is self-level settings. Self-level settings. Alright, what you just saw when I flew is was with it set at 65 on the P gain and P limit is 65 also. Leave these things zero. I don't know exactly what they do, but if you touch them and go any kind of number at all, it goes freaking nuts. Now, what are you going to happen if you decide I want to take this down to zero? I had another person say you should start at zero, but I, I'm not sure if he meant really doing that or not. But if we take it down to zero, basically what will happen is nothing. You'll turn on the self-leveler, and you can't control anything on it, absolutely nothing at all. So let's say you're just kind of learning how to do this for the first time, and you want to uh, not crash once you get it all stabilized. You probably want to hit it around 30 or 40 on both of those. And again, I don't know what P gain, P limit does, except the more higher the gain, the more control you have over... Of the, of the over the tricopter or quadcopter out of you know while you're in self level so just for the heck of it, I'm gonna throw 10 on here and I'm gonna show you what why 10 sucks for, for most cases but here we go all right we got self level on the board 10 I think it's, yeah, it's on so I'm going to give it full right, full right, that's full right, full left, oh crap, oh crap, full left, full right, full back, full forward, and I'm in trouble, oh god, I got lucky, and uh, flip that off. Okay, that's why you don't want to have it down to something like 10. So let's put it on 30 and see what it flies on 30. Alright, this is flying at 35 PNI. Alright, full forward. Not bad. Pull back. I mean, this is what I suggest for someone just learning how to fly tricopters. A little left, a little right. I mean, this is full stick, and I've got a hundred. You know, I got a lot more control than most people have on their tries. So I run a high, a high uh, scale stick. But you know, realistically, 35 would probably be like that for forward, that for backwards. So you got to do whatever you feel comfortable with. But it, it basically really takes away a lot of your self-leveling control, where it's, the tricopter is controlling itself and you're not. So. You know, but if you want to learn how to do it, you just start now. Try 35, 40, or something like that. Don't go nuts. But when you get better and better, you can put a little, you know, higher numbers, 70, 80, or whatever. These self levelings make me land this thing just beautifully because I, I couldn't do this on the setting. Well, it's kind of beautiful. Right, so that's the setup right there. Um, the only thing I've changed around this tricopter of late is I've obviously put landing gear since I put the uh, first thing. You can get this at Hobby Cool for one dollar they have 26 in stock as of today uh, just look under type in skids under hobbycool.com uh, i started putting foam a little bit of two-faced tape 
under my motors it gives it just a little tiny bit of give but it seems to not break these tabs off as easy when you crash I uh, also put tape under the servo here and it just makes it I don't know it just seems to work better the other thing is my block it's made out of a one half by one and a half inch piece of wood I bought at um, Home Depot for a few bucks it's uh, about two three feet long make tons of rear blocks use a carbon fiber uh, rod drilled into the back of this thing it's a four millimeter carbon fiber rod with a wheel collar and that's your whole you know mechanism for your uh, tricopter that's what scared me most in these things and once I got this figured out and this has got that much slop after probably 20 hours of flying time um, we got another one here a little less flying time on this one so it's got a little less slop and I got another one over here it's got a lot more flying time about the same amount of slop so it didn't have much slop it doesn't seem to really matter Okay, when you go to mixer settings, one last thing with a, uh, that you want to be aware of is under this channel over here, you want to go to 4 on a tricopter. And you see it says type servo, then rates. It'll sometimes say high, sometimes say low. Make sure you put it on low. If you don't, the servo will burn up. That's what, uh, that's, what that's from, from it putting on high and not really realizing that. I just killed the servo. Uh, I think digital servos can handle the high. I'm not sure. Um, but I wasn't using a digital servo, obviously. So, that's it, and hope this helps.